I was in charge of the library uh, for a good number of years and uh, it was an, an amazing experience working at Tista because under the direction of Professor Latas, he was such a futurist, a futuristic thinker in trying to develop the library. So when he was collecting the special collections and, and making selections for each book that uh, I had the pleasure of working with him, the, the catalogue that we looked at the catalogue of manuscripts that was sent to us. I was among the first to be given to look at because we have to check against the holdings in the library. And that was the due diligence that we have to do to make sure that we don't buy duplicates, either too many. One of the things that I, I, I remember the best moments with Professor Latas, at, well, one before I joined ISTA and the other while working at ISTA. One before joining ISTA is when he brought to my consideration about the idea that the Muslim scholars, long before the advent of the study of particle physics, he mentioned that our ulama studied atom long before the Western scholars. So that somehow stayed in my mind, and uh, I suppose that was the thing that subconsciously worked in me, that made me change my direction of studies from physics and astronomy to, to Islamic studies. I began uh, to, to to read and to have a background story that somehow I have to go back and look at the history of the Muslims. And because of that, I studied Arabic, I studied the history of science, I studied many things that supported what was Professor Latas was saying. And even today, I'm working on a manuscript that somehow rings through of what he said in the past, almost uh, like 30 years ago. Now, the best moments working at, at, at Istak under him are moments when he teaches me many things because he's a man of great learning and great expertise. Not only he taught me how to read Jawi of the old manuscript because I've never had any training in reading Jawi. I had the training in reading Arabic, Persian, but not Jawi. So working on a manuscript of Raniri with him, the Lata'ipul Asrar, at the last bit of writing for the PhD, we spent hours and hours almost like three to four hours daily until the manuscript was completely read by Professor Latas and approved for submission for the PhD thesis. That was something that I learned from him. Uh, the patience that he put and the fact that he would read my draft of the thesis very meticulously and make suggestions for, 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 for the betterment. And that treatment, I at this present moment at Cassis shared the same experience to my student. One final thing that a student and an ex-employee at ISTAC is that I get to see both and experience both as a student and uh, a staff. The relationship between students and uh, teachers at, at ISTAC is quite unique. We don't have this uh, artificial boundary. Uh, we mix, we eat together, we uh, share things together, we, we share even sources of the things that we, we read. And that's is enriching. We bring slowly the level of the student up. And at the same time, we understand the level of the student's anxiety and not understanding things that they read. And I think this personifies what is called suhbah in the old tradition of Islamic learning, which I think later on in the middle of medieval West, they took it as fellowship uh, in the traditional university settings in the West today.